Good morning guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to another video and today we are in the new truck, the Nissan Titan. Just want to let you guys know, last night we actually got all the lights off the dash, the airbag light pretty much just cleared that and that actually went away, the seatbelt, I don't have the seatbelt on and the door lights because the door is open. So everything else on the dash, there's no lights on and the only other things are is that oil pressure sensor is bad and the oil, I mean and the, the fuel sender unit is bad. So I ordered both of those last night. I'm also looking for a piece for this, these go for like $80, this little trim piece, so I'm trying to find one maybe at a pick and pull. I did also order a backup camera. We're gonna be retrofitting one of those because we definitely need that. But yeah, in the meantime, I did take off my tow hook off of the F-150 because those go for like 60, 70 bucks and we're gonna need it today. So let's go ahead and get that on the truck. We are ready to rock and roll, guys. Bye bye, Muffin. I'll see you later, baby. I did have to get this adapter, unfortunately, because this is an older truck. But I mean, this adapter is about $17. Thankfully, they sold it here. I bet you they overpriced it because every time someone has something that's conveniently for the thing you need, I bet you these are like five bucks and they sold me for 17. But I needed it, so it is what it is. We also got a handy dandy code reader just in case any lights come up. But like I said in the last video, guys, we have no lights on the dash right now. Just these two gauges that we need to fix. The oil pressure gauge is always stuck on high and the fuel pump is always on empty. So uh, it's a little sketchy in terms of how much fuel we got in this car. And it's a little sketchy in terms of the oil pressure. Thankfully, we're not going up any mountains or down any mountains. So we're not going to have to focus too much about that. But in terms of fuel, we're going to have to fill up before we head on our journey just so we don't actually run out of fuel in the middle of the highway. But yeah, guys, we got the trailer loaded up. Let's go ahead and head out. I'm going to be heading over to Jonathan's help and work on his car for a little and then we're heading down to Copart to get our car. Alright guys, so far so good. The only issue is we got a TPMS light. I'm hoping it's no big deal. We'll check it once we actually get there and load up the car, but uh, I'm hoping it's no big deal. Other than that, thankfully no check engine lights, no nothing, but I'll definitely have to be doing an oil change pretty soon. Guys, we're officially here. <laughs> Hoping this goes on easily. Alright guys, so we just got the car out of there. I wanted to move because this guy was loading up a bunch of cars. I didn't want to get in the way even though he parked next to me, but I gotta be nice. You know what I mean? So anywho, we got the car on here and honestly guys, I'm really, really, really happy with it so far. Um, they did leave a couple windows open, so it is so disgusting inside and every time I open the windows or close the windows, things get in my eyes and they hurt. I didn't realize that these actually have the adaptive headlights. This car actually looks really good. The interior is really, really, really nice. I'll show you guys that as well. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a pretty sick build. I really want to get something that kind of reminded me of my first BMW on this channel and we got our new truck doing the job so hopefully it's all gravy the Navy the only light that we got was a TPMS and I have a feeling it's this tire right here it does look a little bit low so let's hit up a gas station and better safe than sorry oh yeah we also took off the bumper just strapped it down over here just so you know it doesn't fly away or anything All 
right, guys, so we just got to my brother's place. We're gonna go ahead and unload the car. Um, yeah, this is kind of a crazy find because basically this has been, it looks like it's been a Copart for Lily forever, guys. Um, it's so filthy inside and outside. I didn't even wanna sit inside. My brother's actually gonna sit inside and back it out for us. But yeah, honestly, I cannot wait to just rebuild this. It's so nostalgic for me and my bro because this is the first car, bro. I remember the 335, the ones that are bolts. This was like kind of like the first car we've ever rebuilt on the channel. And this kind of reminds me of my first car because my first car was a 330i. This is a 328, but they're both E chassis. Like a solid build in a while. Yeah, I mean, this one is not crazy. I just wanted to kind of get something, you know, just transition, yeah. you know? So uh, I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. And I don't know if you guys saw, so it does come with the front bumper, everything. Um, we don't know in the trunk if it does have the rest of the parts. So we'll have to see, hopefully in the next video and get it open. For some reason, there's no trunk latch button for the trunk, which is kind of weird. So uh, we'll figure out what's going on there if we can get into the trunk later, but hopefully in the next video, we'll figure that out. Meantime, let's get this thing off the trailer and get it a good wash. Okay, all right, get in the car. All right, well it starts up guys. Sounds pretty promising. All right, go ahead and back it up, big boy. Yep, you're good, back it up. Back it up. Guys, this thing starts up. All right, and a little more. And you're good right there, you're good right there. Oh, guys. Okay, all right. Like I said, guys, so yeah, we got this thing off the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and get the bumper as well, but um, looking at the interior, it has seen better days. Luckily, this isn't hard. It's still kind of spongy, but it is, everything's pretty cracked up. It looks like everything hasn't been really touched in a minute now. Uh, luckily, those things are working, but I don't know why it's just literally off. It looks connected, but it's off, so it's a little weird now. We're gonna figure out this stuff in a little bit. I don't know what's going on over there. Um, but yeah, guys, again, there's a lot of things, weird things going on with this car. Again, we'll figure it all out. But for the most part, I mean, it looks really good. This is the thing, I love the brown interior. It is the sports package, so we have the sports seats, the paddle shifter, the sports steering wheel. That's what really matters on these E chassis and everything else we can pretty much do ourselves. And then as for the quarter panel, I, I, this, I bought this sight unseen, guys. So when I saw these lines, I thought it was gonna be a whole lot worse. And honestly, it just looks like I don't even know what that looks like. We're just gonna wash off everything and see what they marked up. But uh, again, so far, so good. So we pretty much did wash it. It does have a lot of these uh, markings all over it. So we will have to clean all that out. As for the interior guys, it is absolutely filthy. I'm actually gonna give my brother the camera. So you guys are gonna be with our brother for a little bit. Me and my wife have to get something to eat. We literally haven't eaten all day. I'm gonna try to drop off that trailer. But yeah, this interior is absolutely filthy. My brother's gonna go ahead and work on that. But uh, he'll take you guys with him and uh, hopefully get this thing a whole lot cleaner. So yeah, that is the mission guys. I will give you guys to my brother and uh, hopefully, oh my goodness, we might be able to actually make this thing drivable and looking clean all in one video. But obviously aesthetic we need to get a couple mods. I might be hitting up Keys Motorsports. In terms of the maintenance, because this thing has been a bin for so, so, so long. You can tell by the paint, you can tell by the interior. This thing has not been driven for a very long period of time. So I'm gonna go work with FCP Euro and try to get you guys a full maintenance breakdown. So for those of you guys who own E90s, you're gonna be seeing me literally do all the major maintenance on this engine bay, from oil changes to uh, oil filter housing gaskets to all that stuff, even maybe even a coolant flush. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get all that done, hopefully in the upcoming videos as well. As for the bumpers, guys, this bumper honestly is in pretty good shape. There's literally nothing cracked or damaged anywhere. Um, not even up there. Literally the only damage is this and you can pop this out. Like <laughs> literally just pop that out. Fog lights, the grills, everything's in there. So we might be able to just put the car together. I'm hoping we have a fender in the trunk. We're gonna have to see if we can get that open sooner or later. But yeah guys, I'm super excited. This is looking like a really good cop and it already started up. Was there a check engine light when you started it up? There was no check engine light, we're good. Bro, this thing is solid. So yeah, without further ado, my brother's gonna go ahead and take the camera and he's gonna go ahead and show you guys how a clean interior is supposed to be done.
as you can see here the white stuff like the bright kind of leather is damaged leather so can't really restore that but we've got it cleaned up and over here cleaned up the seat again kind of damaged leather but it's fine that uh, we may do I gotta clean up the carpet again because I keep walking back into it to clean the center console as you guys see here the wheel is cleaned on the top it's cleaned look at that looks pretty dang good I got a toothpick and I actually went into the crevices so I don't know if you guys can see that but the insides are super clean too uh, we got a scratch right there that white thing I'll try to see what I can do about that later so we're gonna start working on the other seats and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit so someone actually put a mask here and kind of like glued it on uh, I guessing the handlebar is kind of sticky or something but you know that is very that is disgusting you know what I mean <laughs> look at that they just they just used it for the handlebar so we're gonna have to deal with that later and see what's going on there Day two of detailing the 328. Um, I put on my dirty clothes because it just, it's a lot worse than I thought. Like I thought I was gonna be detailing a car like that was just with dust and like dirt and everything. It wasn't like that. Uh, I didn't show you guys yesterday, but in the middle of the center console, there was a dried out lollipop. It was like a melted lollipop. The stick was like, you know, like it was corroded with the lollipop and it was just so bad. It took me an hour and a half just on the driver's side alone. So that's why it took me a really long time. I want to make sure I get all the gunk out there. And there's also like a mask on the passenger side. We're going to get to that later. And I, I just can't believe, you know, how uh, someone, you know, lives like that. Just, I don't know. It, it, it mind boggles me. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep diving in and keep digging out the gross stuff and uh, make it look nice again. <laughs> guys I didn't finish the front two seats I just cleaned it enough so you can sit in it and drive it it took me hours just to do that and we're heading into the back seats and there is flies everywhere you know I don't know if there's a dead body in the trunk like that's just how much flies I'm not even over exaggerating like when I opened the rear doors there was like five flies back there and I was wondering why right and I see all this melted candy all over the seats right all over the ground and I'm just like wow you know like like they really just I don't even know how someone drove that car be honest with you um, I had to get a mask because the smell was just so bad I'll show you guys some like you know in the crevices of the seats you know what we're looking at I'm not even over exaggerating I'll show you guys what is that man how does that even happen what is that what the heck I, I want to see look look flies fly right there and a fly right there you guys see those two just flies all over this cushion seat and in the crevices just like so much melted candy um i don't know i may need to call jonathan for this one because 
I don't know what to do to be honest with you. Um, yeah, but uh, I guess we'll, yeah, like what is that, man? What is that? <laughs> and as we were at the end of the video, I was editing the parts where I actually saw my brother pretty much cleaning the interior. I didn't think it's that bad. I probably shouldn't have left him on his own, but yeah, shout out to him for cleaning up the car. This project's pretty much my project and my brother's project, so we're both getting into this car. We're both pretty much our money's invested into this car, and just seeing the car this way just looks in absolute terrible condition. Now, obviously, we're going to try to perfect it. We're going to try to order any door handles. We're going to try to restore everything. Um, I mean, there's just so many little things with this car, but that's what honestly makes it fun that really makes what a restoration is all about it's turning something this disgusting and this you know neglected into something really clean and nice at the end of the day and that's what we're going to try to transform it to so if you guys are excited for the next video make sure to smash the like button hopefully in the next video you can open up the truck and see what is going on back there maybe that that's the reason why there's a lot of flies hopefully not but but honestly, I doubt that. Like, there's no, like, really bad smell or anything. It's just, it's just really dirty. So I'm hoping at least maybe we have, like, the headlights or the fender or other parts of the interior in the trunk. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, obviously, the trunk, the button isn't there. But we're going to go ahead and try to pop it in the next video and, you know, try to see what else is broken with the car and start working on the car. We're going to get a whole parts list down on the car. And, guys, like I said, I'm super excited to restore this thing. We're hoping to make this E90 absolutely mint. It might be a quick project, but it might also be a very extensive one. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out